let us start the displacement analysis of an offset slider crank mechanism this is an offset slider crank mechanism and the kinematic diagram is shown here this revolute pair is o2 this is a and this is p fixed links are denoted by one this is link number two or crank this is link number three or connecting rod and this slider is denoted by link number four now in offset slider crank mechanism the axis of slider that is this is the axis of slider here this is the axis of slider if i extend it it has and perpendicular distance e from center o2 so the axis of the slider this is the axis of the slider has an perpendicular distance e from crank center o2 now let me show you a model of an offset slider crank mechanism this is a model of an offset slider crank mechanism this red link is the crank this blue link is the connecting rod this green one is the slider and white frame is the fixed link this blue line shows the axis of the slider this is the slider and this is the axis of the slider this center here that is O2, that is crank center is O2, this is O2 and the amount of offset is E. Offset is the perpendicular distance of axis of slider from center O2. Similar like slider crank mechanism, here also the continuous rotation of the crank that is the red link produces to and fro rectilinear oscillation of the slider and the slider this is the green link is at extreme right this is the extreme right position of the slider when crank and connecting rod becomes collinear similarly the slider reaches the extreme left position here also the connecting rod and the crank becomes collinear but here angle between them is 0 degree whereas at extreme right position angle between them is 180 degree this is the kinematic diagram of an offset slider crank mechanism where crank 2 crank or link number 2 is rotating in counterclockwise direction counterclockwise direction with uniform velocity omega 2 so uniform velocity form velocity that is omega 2 as crank has a pure rotation about center o2 then point a will generate a circle which has center at o2 and radius r as length of the crank is r that is given so let me first draw the circle so this is the circle which has been generated by point a so let us give a name that the circle is k now when the point b point b reaches at extreme positions then we have seen that the crank and connecting rod becomes collinear and let us consider that the extreme position of point b are br and pl br is the right extreme position and bl is the left extreme position 
Now let me draw the axis of the slider also. Axis of the slider. This is the axis of the slider. And O2 BR, O2 BR, that is distance of BR from fixed point O2 will be L plus R as at extreme right position crank and connecting rod becomes collinear. So to locate BR we have to draw an arc with radius L plus R and center O2 which cuts which cuts the axis of the slider at this point and that is nothing but BR. So this is BR and let me draw the configuration of the mechanism. So this is the configuration of mechanism that is this point as A moves on this circle. So this is AR. So O2 AR is the crank then AR to BR is the connecting rod. So this is one instant when point B is at extreme right position. Now let us look at BL and we know that O2 BL will be L minus R because at extreme left position further crank and connecting rod becomes collinear but one overlaps another that is angle between them is 0 degree. Now from center O2 we will draw another arc, we will draw another arc with radius L minus R and that cuts, that cuts the axis of slider here and that is nothing but BL. Let me draw it with red color. So this is BL. Now what will be the configuration of the mechanism at this instant? That is, let me draw that. So this is the configuration that is, this point is AL. So O2 AL is the crank. Then AL to BL is the connecting rod. So this is the instant. Now our objective of displacement analysis is to find the stroke, stroke that is nothing but the distance between two extreme positions of B which is BR BL and another next objective is to determine quick return ratio. Now from this geometry we can easily calculate what is BRBL. So let us find what is BRBL. So stroke is stroke is BRBL and that is nothing but let me denote this point by BR prime and BL prime. So BR BL which is nothing but BR BL is nothing but O2 BR prime minus O2 BL prime. Now let me denote two angles that this angle is by alpha and this total angle is by beta. So these are two angles. Now we can easily find these two angles from this geometry. That is, let me find it here. What is this two angle? Sine of alpha. What is sine of alpha? That is E by E by O2 BR that is E by L plus R and similarly sine of beta is E by O2 BL which is E by L minus R 
So these are two expressions of alpha and beta. So an alpha and beta can be determined from these two expressions as E, L and R are given. So O2 Br prime that is O2 Br O2 Br cos of alpha minus O2 BL cos of beta. So this is the expression of stroke. I am writing once again. Stroke is BR BL. That is the distance between two extreme positions of point B which is nothing but O2 BR cos alpha minus O2 BL cos of beta and further we can write O2 BR is L plus R L plus R cos of alpha minus L minus R cos of beta. So this is the expression of the stroke. Now we can easily find alpha and beta from these two expressions. So we have determined the stroke of this mechanism. We have determined the stroke of the offset slider crank mechanism. Now the next objective is to determine the quick return ratio. What is quick return ratio? That is let me first give the expression time taken by forward stroke divided by time taken by return stroke. Now let me define what is forward stroke and what is return stroke. Now let us come to this instant when B is at BR. So O2 AR is the crank then AR to BR is the connecting rod. And we have already considered that crank is rotating in counterclockwise direction counterclockwise direction with an uniform speed omega 2. Okay, now from this instant, let us consider crank starts rotating in counterclockwise direction. So what happens? B cannot move further in right hand position. So from this instant, it will back to left hand direction. So it will back starts moving in backward direction. And it will reach BL, it will reach further to BL and with this period, the corresponding motion of the crank will be what? O2 AR to O2 AL. That is, vice versa, we can say when crank rotates from O2 AR to O2 AL in counterclockwise direction, the slider, that is this slider, moves from BR to BL, which is called forward stroke. So this is called forward stroke. So in forward motion, crank rotates from O2 AR to O2 AL and slider moves from BR to BL. From and that completes the forward motion. Then return starts. Return starts from BL. BL return starts from BL and crank start, starts rotating from O2 AL and reaches further to O2 AR. So O2 AR and the corresponding motion of this slider is BL to BR in right hand direction which is called return. So this is return. And crank is rotating with uniform speed and we have seen that let us first denote 
this forward motion of the crank or forward angle traveled by the crank is theta f this angle is theta f that is o2 ar to o2 al is theta f and this angle the remaining angle is theta r that is return angle and here we can see that theta f sorry theta f theta f is greater than theta r that indicates what that time taken by forward stroke is greater than time taken by return stroke now what is time taken by forward stroke that is theta a by omega 2 theta a by omega 2 as angular speed of the crank is omega 2 and time taken by return stroke that is theta r by omega 2 so that is theta f by theta r now here if we extend this further that is this angle here the difference between beta and alpha is theta this angle is theta then what is theta f this two red line denotes 180 degree so theta f is 180 degree plus theta and here 180 degree minus theta because theta f plus theta r is 360 degree so the difference between beta and alpha is theta and here if we can calculate theta then we can calculate the quick return ratio easily that is theta is beta minus alpha and we have already determined the expression of beta and alpha that is sine inverse e by l minus r minus sin inverse e by l plus r so this is the expression of theta now you can put here you will get the quick return ratio when e equal to 0 that is a simple slider crank mechanism when e equal to 0 that is offset is 0 only slider crank mechanism alpha beta becomes 0 so theta will be 0 so there when quick return ratio that is quick return ratio is th if theta is 0 then 180 by 180 that is 1 let us solve the problem which has been asked in gate 2014 an offset slider crank mechanism is shown in the figure at an instant so this is the offset slider crank mechanism conventionally the quick return ratio is considered to be greater than 1 the value of qrr is what is the value of qrr it is given that o2a that is the crank is 20 mm ab is the connecting rod that is 40 mm and value of offset e is 10 mm so what is qrr so let us locate two extreme positions of B and we know that point A moves on circle. So first let us draw the circle. Let us draw the circle first. So this is the circle. So this is the circle on which point A moves. Now let me extend the axis of the slider. Sorry, this is not exact straight line. Okay, this is the axis of the slider. Now O2BR o2 br we know that that is 40 plus 20 that is 60 mm so let us consider this is the this is the position br so this is br and this is ar and o2 br is 60 mm o2 bl 
that is the extreme bl is the extreme left position of point b will be 40 minus 20 that is 20m and radius of this circle is also 20mm because the length of the crank is 20mm. So that is BL is nothing but intersection between the circle and axis of the circle, axis of the slider. So this is, let me denote it by red color, BL. So this is the orientation. This is AL, then this is PL. Now this is angle alpha. This angle is beta and this is theta. So what is sine alpha? Sine of alpha is what? Sine of alpha is E is 10. 10 by O2 BR that is 60 that is 1 by 6 and from this we can calculate alpha alpha becomes approx 10 degree what is sine of beta beta is e by that is 10 divided by O2 BL O2 BL is 20 that is half which implies beta is exactly 30 degree. So what is the value of theta? Theta is beta minus alpha that is 20 degree. Now we know the expression of QRR that is quick return ratio. Here it is given in capital letter. Don't worry. 180 degree plus theta and 180 degree minus theta that is 180 degree plus 20 degree 180 degree minus 20 degree. that is 200 degree by 160 degree and that becomes 1.25 so quick return ratio of this mechanism is 1.25. So this is the answer. We can easily determine. So we are ending here. Thank you.